Why do we sing as human beings? Singing arises so often from joy. It arises from love. It arises from the desire to express something that is deep at the heart of us. Reading through the law in the Old Testament, the law is not sung. The law is written, it's written on tablets of stone, and it's meditated upon, reflected upon, and memorized at certain points. But when we sing psalms, we are expressing the deep feelings and desires and loves of our heart. We're stirring that aspect of ourselves, and we're doing so with God's words. God's words, through the words of the psalms, dwell in us in a deep way, conscripting our feelings, our emotions, our passions, our desires, our affections, and directing those towards the kingdom of Christ. The words of the Psalms are words that order our emotional life rightly, ordering it towards God, teaching us how to deal with despair, how to deal with joy, how to deal with suffering, how to deal with difficulty and opposition, and how to do all of that in a way that shares in Christ's relationship with his Father, where we take upon ourselves the words that belong to Christ, the words that Christ speaks in his servant David by his Spirit. The Psalms has been described as a Bible in miniature, a book that contains within it all the different aspects that we see within the Scripture more generally. In places like Psalm 104 to 106, we read the Psalms that recall the events of creation, the events of the patriarchs, the events of the Exodus and the early history of Israel. In reading those, we are recounting the great historical acts that we see in the books of the history of Scripture. We also have words of prophecy, Psalms that look forward to the work of the Messiah or to other events in history. Psalms such as Psalm 22, so we have prophecy and we have history in Scripture. We have the law in Scripture as well, represented in the Psalms. In Psalms like the great Psalm about the law, Psalm 119, we recall the law and we meditate upon the law and we delight in the law. The promise of the new covenant is that the law would be written on our hearts. One of the ways in which the law is written upon our hearts is in singing it. The law is no longer just words on tablets of stone out there that we might reflect upon and commit to and um, submit to and accept as true on some level. They are words that we have sown deep within our hearts, words that have conscripted our deepest emotions and desires and passions that order our lives according to the law of God. So that law has become the principle by which we live by which we feel, by which we order our affections and desires. Even though I walk in a valley of deep darkness, I will fear no evil, for you are with me. The book of the Psalms is also a book of wisdom. It helps us to see God's world and God's word in a way that is illumined, in a way that has deep understanding understands its dynamics, understands its deeper logic, and sings about that logic. There are psalms of Solomon that have that character to them. That transposition of the wealth of Scripture, the variety of Scripture, its different genres, its different forms of literature, into song is a means by which God's Word and God's Spirit are written upon and dwell in our hearts richly.